What are some not safe for work life advice every own should know? Hi Reddit guys, subscribe now, or I will hack your smartphone. Men, fondle your eggs now and again. Make sure there's no unusual lumps or pain. If there is, do not put it off. Get that it checked out. Source, testicular cancer survivor. I'm fondling my balls because of you. We're all fondling our balls because of him. My friend survived testicular cancer. It got really bad for him. To a point of having two weeks left to live until stem cell donation saved him. In his 30s. He now proudly supports a charity called Chickem Lads. So yeah. Check em lads. Water is the opposite of lube. X in a lake seems like it will be hot. It is not. Isn't the water of the lake very dirty? I got an infection just thinking about it. Water is not wet. If you think anyone you're sharing a room with won't notice you getting with your partner. You are wrong. They are always awake. Always. Happened to me freshman year of college. My roommate had the audacity to ask me how I slept afterwards. As if I wasn't going to tell her that I heard her get taken to pound town in the middle of my peaceful sleep. Soap makes it sting when you pee. Let him know cause that it really stings. Don't stick fingers up your lady if you've been cooking with peppers. Also oral after eating very spicy food is the wrong kind of hot. My pee pee just made the windows shut down noise. Also don't do anal if the recipient has recently eaten peppers. I heard a horror story about a girl who ate jalapenos before having anal and an undigested seed got lodged in the guy's peanuts. He thought the inflammation was an STI until they found the seed when they swabbed him. You can break your dong. Be careful when your gal on top. I think this is literally my biggest fear sad face. Had it happen and two blood blisters grew on my peanuts head, made it look like a snake blowing a kiss. Invest in your ex toys. Don't cheap out, go for silicone, glass, or another non-porous material. GLSS. Shattering. If you have difficulty discussing what kinks you're into or are going to be embarrassed if you suspect your partner won't be into the same things you are, there are several kink tests as you and your partner can take. You both take the test separately and only see what you match on. Find one that is as detailed as you need and that has safeguards against spamming everything to see what the other person is into. Both select everything to see what the other into. Now, I'm just disappointed in the both of us. If you want to last longer in bed, men, relax your glutes and quads when you feel like you're going to come and you'll have a much better chance of not doing that and lasting longer. You can notice the next time you're about to come how tense your legs and glutes are. This has helped me immensely in bed. I had a boyfriend that would slow what he down on the love making and hold me, kiss me, touch me and whisper things to me. I didn't realize what he was doing at the time, but it made me feel, um, I don't know, um, cherished, revered. After a minute or a few, we'd pick right back up where we left off. This is the best. Why not take the time to be slow and gentle and intimate with your partner? You don't have to disconnect by thinking about math problems or gross stuff. It's okay to just chill out. Thanks for this, I'm gonna give it a shot. Bad part, I suppose, about a long and committed relationship is that you and your partner learn what you like, and then learn what you really like. Sometimes it's going so good, very quickly, that you both just start doing the other person's favorite thing or what you know gets them off super hard. Great news for my wife, long, Hard, repetitive orgasms. Bad news for me, when 45 seconds into it I'm all Lord Jesus you gotta slow down. Stop or the fun is over lol. If you go on a road trip, even a short one, bring toilet paper. When Yalv got to it, Yalv got to it. Now I know where OP got their username from. $10 worth of condoms is cheaper than 18 years of child support. The pain of IUD insertion is definitely less than the pain of childbirth. For my straight dudes out there, using toys with and on your partners doesn't make you less of a man. You are not in competition with her vibrators. 
They are tools to bring her to orgasm efficiently and without giving you or her RSI. Batman has a tool for all occasions. Be like Batman. Never go from anal to PPL or oral. That's a one-way street. A co-worker's teenage daughter had to go to the doctor. She said she's got a UT and is a lot of pain. Mum is in the room. I don't know why. Long story short, the daughter and her boyfriend went back to front with no protection or break in between. Daughter simultaneously had a UT, a yeast infection and a kidney infection. The doctor said he'd never seen anything like it. The daughter's fine, but mum hasn't recovered. What the frick? She got the whole trifecta. Don't let your partner slam down onto your peanuts after it slips out. You will break your dong. This is true. I did this to my ex when we were 16. We literally heard a snap sound. Bro if my dong made a snap sound my soul would leave my freaking body. I can make my dong pop like a knuckle. It's a party trick that I've never shown off at a party. Wash your belly button you dirty animal. People straight up neglect the belly button. My mum worked in an aura and she was obsessed with making sure we kept our belly buttons clean growing up. She would always tell us about surgeries where they go to make an abdominal incision and were met with an absolutely filthy belly button. The bacterial makeup in your belly button is unique to you, like a fingerprint. The Belly Button Biodiversity Project did a study and found bacteria from soil in Japan in one man's belly button, which was surprising, because he lived in the Midwest and had never been to Japan. Our belly buttons are so dirty that scientists keep finding new bacteria in them. Never get cum in your eye. It feels like stabbing your eye with hot knives. Jesus Christ I hope your sons read this comment. Sitting awkwardly at the dinner table thinking about their mum having cum in her eyes. Don't jerk off with shampoo. It'll feel good for a second. Um. Until it gets inside your pisser. Um. This. I was looking for this. Didn't learn this lesson until I was 35. Don't beat off with shampoo. Also, keep tiger balm and icy hot far far away from your balls. If you use it, don't scratch balls or adjust after. Don't apply on thighs then wear loose shorts. Also, don't ever sit on your balls. Read the bed, not the room in this case. If she's digging it, don't change that. Don't try to do whatever you're doing better. Don't try other things. If it works for her, just go with it. If you're not sure, don't be afraid to ask. That being said, ladies, if a guy asks if he's doing good, don't save his feelings. Let him know it's not enjoyable and to try something else, tell him what he should do. The moment you'll figure out a happy medium, you'll be in the bedroom more than any other room. Piggybacking to say that don't stop means just that. Don't shift, don't adjust, don't switch to something else, don't change tempo. Just keep doing what you were doing. Don't stop is pretty much the hottest thing you can hear, so it always just makes me blow my load immediately. As a female we love hearing guys moan, growl this during X. Huge turn on. Lube up, especially for anal. Also if you're uncut be sure there's lubrication, because you can rip your foreskin and it's extremely painful. Source. I ripped my foreskin and it was extremely painful. I wish I could give you an award my brother, but I am pool so I'm just gonna throw you a virtual pat on the back. It's all good just please take care down there bro. I was with my girl at the time and she freaked out. Blood was squirting everywhere it was insane. It was a long time ago and I healed no problem. But that was painful to go through I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Don't have X on a beach. Sand gets in places where you would never want sand. Okay, Anakin. Calm down. Anakin stop panicking. Don't stand on chairs with wheels. That's actually a safe for work advice. Good one nonetheless. Don't stand naked on chairs with wheels. This isn't really not safe for work but, um, wash your genitals every day. Thread carefully when it slips out. An unexpected arrival in the other hole is traumatic. Or even a thrusting and missing a hole altogether. It can cause a peanuts to break and requires emergency treatments to avoid permanent damage. Less serious, 
but if you do thrust and miss getting accidentally punched in the vag by a dong isn't fun. Don't blame your partner if they want to take a break after an accident like that. Get tested for stees. Don't take your partner's word for it that they're healthy. True. Subarus are a nasty infection. Yay. Side effects are vaping and shotgunning a monster. Horrible. Pee after you have X. Never skip on it. I never skip on pee. It's slippery and gross. Trim your nails. Don't just trim. Sand those rough edges down with the emery board. File attachment. Freshly cut nails can do as much if not more damage than longer, well kept nails. I was told to test inside your cheeks. If it hurts your mouth it's gonna hurt her. Bro I just stuck my finger into my mouth to feel my cheek and I forgot that I was scratching my balls for like 30 minutes with that hand. Nice. Also moisturize your fingers and cuticles if you plan on fingering him or her. It's just polite. Okay reddit guys, subscribe now, or I will hack your smartphone.